Legend of Total War here with part 5.2 of my Medieval 2 Total War roleplay campaign as the Papal States under the reign of Pope Saracenus the Corrupt, our fifth Pope. This is the third episode with him. Probably the last one because he's 56 years old. I very rarely see them live beyond the age of 62. So that being six years or 12 turns, we'll see how long it lasts. We don't fight any Your battles orders, manually unless the Pope is there. Now, of course, we've sent our armies around the place to, uh, to, uh, yes. I might send some reinforcements up here, to go Orders. and do it, uh, to go and, you know, defeat our enemies. Lord. We march no further today, Lord. But yeah, okay, so we've got this over here, yes, sink this piece of shit, Attacking on your command. and all these Egyptians. Our fleet is victorious! Good, a lot of ships Victory! Sometimes I forget about the navy. Yes, they got to clear out all these damn ships. Dropping anchor it's until costing more. me money with them blockading my ports. Okay, so with the rest of the okay, that's under attack as well. Your I'm gonna order, come up here. Construct that. Um, so what we're going to do is going to send him over to Granada and try and make a push for for Cordoba. Make sure these settlements maintain public order, because most of our money is coming from here. And it, you know, increase taxes and stuff and trade. Okay, sounds good. Hang on, we haven't built anything here. Should be a higher priority. Yeah, let's build a large stone wall. Uh, where are we gonna cancel? So looking at this, who is excommunicated? So Hungary is excommunicated. So let's offer them Lord, reconciliation I can do for a... So they're completely bankrupt, but we could probably get a tribute out of them. Say 500 for 10 turns, 5,000. It's a generous offer. I suppose we can agree to these terms if we must. Goodbye. Good. So you've been reconciled. You continue your wars against whatever the hell you're fighting. And pay me money. Alright, let's move on. Very large Egyptian fleet. Was this their last turn before they sallied out? Because it's actually been like a few weeks since they recorded the previous episode. I can't remember what I was doing. I mean, the odds are in our favor, so let's do it. Victory, and uh, we only lost 448 men. And we gained Vienna. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. We gained quite a bit of money by sacking it, but these people here are Catholic, victory. so we don't we don't butcher Catholics. You know, unless they're coming to fight us. Alright, the odds are 1 to 1. Can't fight it manually. But we win. We have a defensive advantage. Okay, so these people here, they came here to kill us. So, yes, you we should offer them a ransom. Well, fuck these things. The I'm, I've been Peter. trying to offer peace with them. Tolerable dickwads. Leave nothing. Raise the in Paris. Not really what I would normally want to build there, but I'll accept it. We are the Pope, after all. Feel the large army coming over here. 
Got a lot of troops at stealth, eh? Let's go, this settlement here is making us a lot of cash. There's no corruption. Oh man, look at that mining. Thieves Guild. Nah, no, get rid of that. So how many wars are we fighting? We've got seven wars going on right now. So it really would be great to sort of end some of these wars. You know, I guess through the total destruction of the faction, because they won't accept peace. Uh, Venice, I'm pretty sure, only has one settlement left. Spain's still full strength because we haven't really bothered at all to fight them. Well, it's not a case of bothering, we just can't allocate resources, so we're just on the defense with them. The Holy Roman Empire is nearly defeated. The Byzantines aren't too far off. Um, the Moors only seem to have like maybe two or three settlements left. It depends if they've actually got territory. Oh shit. Territory down like from Timbuktu. Wait. Your orders, number You're one. going to yes, your orders. sail up your here, orders, number one. and Bless from Granada, we'll be able to provide right you down. with your orders, number one. significant reinforcements. Yes. We'll just keep your throwing majesty. troops in there. Yes, your majesty. Or march. Binding forces, my lord. Your orders, number one. What kind of your mercenaries we got here? Number one. Uh, yeah, the Knights Hospitaller, they'll want to fight the, um, the Moors, of course. So, Metz over here, Imperial Fortress. How much money does, uh, the Holy Roman Empire have now? Financially, they are bankrupt, so they're not recruiting any more troops. Your orders, Antwerp doesn't one. look particularly well defended. Yes, but I can get a lot of troops over here from Stalfen. So right, Your let's orders, firstly one. take a step orders. here. Oh, fuck. Good thing I stood there. Um, if he wants to attack us during the end turn, he can, Your majesty. He can try. Move out! Virgin armies! Orders, my lord. Maybe hire some cavalry for. What well, is probably going to be a field orders, battle soon. One. Um, yes. Have them stay there. We'll stay on the river crossing here. Your orders, number one. Hmm. Your orders, number one. Might be a good idea to send some. Oh, I've already done that actually. Um, bring them over here. Onward. Nine turns until surrender. Okay. Okay, with the rest of our money, I think just um, just build up some some of these regions. Okay, might be a good idea to drop the taxes here because we need this province to grow. Okay, seems good. Let's move on. Oh, they brought even more forces in. Good, they're pulling out of all other territories to try and defend Mets. Theologian's Guild sounds good. I'll grab that. So, Inquisition unsuccessful. Well. 
So we're number one in everything. Good amount of cash. Okay, I gotta build something in pass. Yeah, let's build it to uh, to huge city. That'll that'll help with public order a little bit. Your orders, number one. You won't be able to defeat that. That's too many troops. Your orders, number one. Oh, uh, not necessarily. Your orders, number one. What have they got? Mostly just infantry, it seems. Your orders, number one. And if you come in and assist us. Your orders, number one. Yeah, maybe. All right, stand. I'll bring, bring the cavalry in, and we'll. My lord. Your orders, stand number there. one. And you can maybe get your reinforcements from there. Yes. We'll attack Ludwig, Ludwig von Magdeburg, and uh, your orders, we'll number one. Your orders, most number one. This province. That's okay. Your orders, number one. Right. God will be with us, men. Also, in our favor, but not by heaps. Numbers wise, we are outnumbered by a small margin, so it must mean that our troops are better than theirs. What have they got? So they've got some ballista. We don't have any artillery, so we'll have to charge at them. That's okay. Um, a lot of pretty low tier units. Peasants and some high tier units. And Emperor Elbahad. Yeah, okay. Well, this is probably not going to be a successful draw out, as in to, uh, to wipe everyone out so that we can take the settlement. Because if we get a lot of captives, what should I do? Release them or ransom them? Releasing them, it depends on how many we get. Because if we release, if we take a lot of casualties in the battle, and then release them, I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to win here. Uh, Men could end up being well a defeat for us when we attack the settlement. Throw lives away. I will not use force modesty and deny the charge. Indeed, I say proudly that it is true, and further. I will give you victory if you have the hearts to fight like men possessed when I ask it. Over there stands a miserable collection of sausage eating, a beer swilling, imperial pudding heads. I think they will welcome death. <laughs> With God's good graces, we shall strike down a quarter of our enemy's army today. Courage will be our watchword. Despair! Theirs! And now any man here who is not praying for our victory had better make his peace with God, or he'll find none with me hereafter. Now, bring me my broadsword and let me kiss the cross before I fight! Yeah, hopes command the battlefield, but I'm not sending you in there. Our reinforcements should be coming from here. Let me just reorganize this so that our cavalry is all organized. A nice high ground here. I guess it largely will depend on where they set up. They'll have reinforcements coming from here and here. Over here is the um, is the garrison. It might actually be in our best interest to quickly take them out of the fight. Okay, take these guys off that formation. See so yeah, if we take them out and then double back around over here before they arrive and engage, you know, it's the old military maxim, divide him. Oh my god, did I actually do what I usually, I think I did what I'm not supposed to do. I wanted them to come in as AI reinforcements, but by instincts, I selected don't come in by AI reinforcements, because that's what I normally do, just by pure instincts. That's actually going to make the battle a little bit more difficult. Because now the odds aren't in my favor, and we've got a whole bunch of troops that are in reserve. That aren't showing up just yet. Shit. I fucked up over here. 
And they didn't press the attack. But that could have gone very badly for me. Because the problem is, is that these archers fire so much better if they're out front. If you put these guys right in front of them, they just don't fire very well. Alright, so what you did. You just stay there for the time being. Go around over this way. You can run over here. Blasphemer, it's time for you to die. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> of course, in real life, I don't fucking give a crap about blasphemy. I'm surrounded. That's the attack. Because, yeah, if we were playing a normal campaign, I wouldn't have wanted them coming in as AI reinforcements because of. Um, the thing is, bringing them in as AI reinforcements increases our chance of victory, but also increases the likelihood of casualties. Because the AI is not very good with their troops. It doesn't matter so much in a roleplay campaign. Alright, when everyone targeting, Ludwig must die. Probably not a good idea if we like use up all of our cavalry right at the start. Only half Don't the enemy force remains. I'm leaning towards a ransom, but we'll just we'll just have to see how the battle goes. Because the thing is, we know very much that they're bankrupt, so. A ransom basically means, well, they're going to be executed. That's just, of course, assuming we're winning. If we're winning at the moment, well, we're not... We're not winning in terms of balance of power, but we're winning in terms of percentages. X. So did we kill him or did we capture him? That wasn't made very clear at all. So it looks like they're all broken. He probably probably got killed. Generally speaking, the emperors tend to have good morale. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! Alright, so that's one of their armies dealt with. And here comes the rest of them. So if we deliver a ransom on them, that, that forces, surely we got 85% of them. I need you guys to get back over here, what's this, get in position, because we're badly outnumbered against these guys here. Form up. that charge. But are we going to be able to stop this one? Maybe. Nope, we didn't stop it. Oh, hang on. Yes, we did. Sort of. So there's a bit of a clusterfuck going on over here. Well, at least they're coming at us in waves. That's not a in any way, shape, or form, a good thing for me to do that. Doesn't bother me, it means high chance of victory. For me. 
keep my infantry protecting the missile units. Keep my cavalry in reserve. And relatively fresh. Probably already a little bit tired. A little bit, yeah. It's okay. They, well, they soak up the charge and then these guys come in and they'll, they'll take out their mail parts, which are much more valuable than those puppies across Bowman. Are running away. This is no time to get reinforcements in. You're gonna have to come in and come in and help now. It's far, far too far away to get here. Okay, if we could shoot another general, that would be good. Don't, don't bother chasing that. Here's another general. Close enough to them to maintain public order. Ah. Morale. So they've broken through our front line here. We just didn't have enough melee infantry to be able to resist this. You're not, you're not to get into this fight. You come around their rear here to get those artillery. Get over this way. Throw about them. Got broken. Go try and keep my archers firing at all times. Where are they going? Well, as our troops leave the battlefield. New troops will come on, but maybe you should think about, not yet, because if you leave the area here, it's going to be a problem for us. So these guys here are breaking. We've got to keep you alive. Percentage-wise, we're winning by a large margin. Most of our, see, a lot of melee infantry right there. It's using up all of our cavalry now, which would, which would be better. Uh, be used for running them down later. There's no getting running away from them. I just pray the course of this battle changes because defeat seems almost certain. Uh, the course will definitely change as our reinforcements come in. Focus fire on that general's bodyguard. It's not breaking. Get over this way. Yeah, see there's a whole cluster of missile units there. If you charge into their rear, they might just break. Their best hope is to My break. Lord, only half our force remains. Get captured, and they'll be saved after the battle's won. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Right, so if we. Yeah, from the first army. It. Capture as many of them as we can. Because otherwise, just keep coming back. You get over here. Actually, we, you're probably best just staying up here. This whole army of mine is going to rout, and then we'll have the other, other one come in. Yeah, they're all, they're all gone. 
Yeah, finish them off. I'll try and bring rally the cavalry. Back up on the heliers. Just so I've got some left. Including you, I don't want you dying. Back up on the hill. Once these guys have all left the battlefield, our second army will show up. Interesting opportunity here to take out that general. Do it. Oh, oh, yeah, completely missed. What are they doing? Are they actually leaving the battlefield? Praise oh, to our it. lord! Our men have slain the enemy general! Now his men will lose heart! Huh. Press the attack, because without the enemy general, these guys will have terrible morale. I'm hearing them say retreat a lot. Even though the balance of power is in their favor at the moment. Of course, I know that there's a lot of my reinforcements coming in. Yeah, but there's no way we would have won it just with the one army, but it's good thing the reinforcements are here. Even with the Pope relatively nearby, they're still not getting them. Not getting them. Yeah, but if, if they leave the battlefield, then obviously we're not going to be able to take Metz this time. Unless, of course, there's another army. Unless it, there's more than a full stack that, so that they can't all get back into Metz. So it might be in my best interest actually to stop running them down. The enemy are what badly I bloodied. I want to run them down. They have lost half their men. For the moment, the, moment, the fortune of battle break. goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Ah, I want to kill them with the Pope. Go. It's like dangling a ham in front of me. Of course, I'm going to take a bite. General's bodyguard! Okay, um... Maybe, maybe we shouldn't be doing this, I don't know. Are they gonna break again? Oh, okay, back on, back on. Pope shouldn't be fighting. Good opportunity to take these guys out while their fatigue is high, morale is low. Just a thousand of them. Looking a bit bloody there. Oh, there you go, good job. Alright, let's speed this up. Yeah, definitely take out their artillery.
the enemy. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Good. It wasn't really ever a question of whether or not we'd win the battle, but about um, how much damage we'd take during it. It says we lost 24%, but definitely a lot of them were captured that will be saved. And those that ran away are also included in that total. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory so it says 18%. we have won here today. But then we also need to take into consideration about nearly 400 men here that were captured that I get back. So, yeah, some of these guys still have a lot of, a lot of troops left, but we captured 1,300 of them. So the Emperor was captured. I've tried to give offer you peace so many times now, I can't justify releasing you. You've plunged Europe and your own kingdom into a state of war. You'll pay for this or die. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us to order number one. Alright, I'm now going to task you with besieging the settlement, them starving them out. Without question, we shall begin the siege. Your orders, number one. Yes. The Pope is going to be given a new army and try to hit to uh, Antwerp, preferably before you die of old age. Still got a few turns till then. Your orders, number one. Still a few Holy Roman guys out here. We got the Emperor Maximilian. We'll give give him a message. Save the Kaiser's forgiveness. We'll give you the ceasefire and reconciliation with no cost. If that was a jest, we did not find it funny. You're going to find it even less funny when I'm ramming my dick in the back of your head. Um, your orders, number one. This, this is a very papal thing to say. Oh, I think it is. Yes, my lady. Attacking on your command. Our fleet is victorious. Closing to engage, Damn, my much, lord. A lot of my fleet there got destroyed. Victory! There's still so much more of theirs got destroyed. Okay, so... This priest here, can you get rid of this guy for me? Good job. Okay, Tolu took a little bit of a beating. We need to prepare for the next attack that comes out here. Your Majesty. Your orders, number one. Yes. How much authority does Saracenus have? Your orders, fair number bit. one. Orders. Your orders, number one. Yes. Hmm. Your Majesty. Put them in here. March. Combining. Force. Your orders, number one. God will be with us, men! To Things battle. assaulting settlements puts Besieging them in with a big defensive advantage. Don't know if that's a good idea for us to attack it. Better for them to attack us. You know, in terms of order resolve. Poland, we have no beef with them. Same with Hungary. Got these troops here, but... Um, Actually, yeah, Your we orders, could. Number one. Your Majesty. We could move out from here. Your orders, number one. Not too concerned about the Emperor, but this army over here. Meet them out in the field. Yes, we shall continue at first light. Your orders, number one. Okay, here's an opportunity. If we build a fort 
here. He won't be able to get back Leave to Cordoba in time. Infidel, and we'll take it. Or I shall remove you. All right, so take you Your and order, one. you order. stand here. As you wish. Build the fort. Two armies. We shall not surrender this position, my lord. Your orders, noble one. It we make up for your failure at Marrakesh. Send you some knights over here to assist. Orders. He can't get past here now. Unless he's got artillery. Um, Leave these lands, infidel, or I shall remove you. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens here. God will be with us, man. But yeah, we'll want to we'll crack in there and take that. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. Nice large city and sack it. No, no qualms at all about uh, sacking Muslim settlements. Not a big deal. Just need to make sure it doesn't have a large Catholic. Ooh, actually, majority of people here are Catholic. Just because it's owned by the Moors doesn't mean there's a lot of Muslims there. All right, let's move on. Not sure if we're going to be able to repel that. My lord, the enemy lays it. What shall we do? Should be able to repel that. This is not good, lord. The enemy have laid it upon us. Successful, great. So how many of these cardinals are papal states? Majority of them. Good. Alright, you better not fail us. You've got a lot of command, more than the enemy general. Blessing and yours, we march to battle. A most honorable victory, my noble lord! God be praised for blessing us with victory! It is a Muslim-controlled settlement. We won't be able to hold it properly unless we sack it, because it's red-faced. Potential for revolt. I do so with a little bit of restraint, but it has to be sacked. Yeah, see, even with that, the public order's not quite under control. We just have to assume, like, we killed the Muslims there, not the Catholics. We just have to sort of role-play and think that that's what happened. Don't want this here. Not stand this deal. So now we funnel them out. Okay, so the Reconquista has happened now. The Muslims have been removed from Spain completely. Well, you know, they've still got the army there, but we'll deal with that another time. Now, it probably would be good for us to finish off the Moors, but the Moors just don't seem to be that much of a threat. I feel like Spain really needs to be brought to heel. So I don't know about that. All Your right. orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Yes. Seven turns until surrender. Or I could just Your get orders, you to order a result that right now. Could have gotten him to fight him manually, but eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Onward. God will oh, be with us, men! To battle! Besieging forces report your orders, noble one. So I want to double back around, make my way to Antwerp. Of course, my lord. Yes, my lord. Verging Bit of damage, but, you know, we'll keep on trucking.
Your orders, noble one. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. God has granted his faithful this victory. Good. We will engage what happened to them honorably, you my not lord. Not get any captives or Blessed something. Lord, we oh, thank you for delivering us. Yes. Yes. March. Combining forces, my lord. Once again, we'll we give them the option. Trust you. So you are not going to win this. Be good. I love a reconciliation. Oh, imagine if they accepted it. The Kaiser will hear of your insulting proposal. Well, this you know, I gave them the gave them the choice. They didn't want it. Your orders, number one. You expect me to come to you, infidel? What, what more can I do? Your Majesty. Order. Your orders, number one. Of course, my lord. Yes. Your Majesty. Move out. He's bringing our well, troops together. Help. Orders. Merging armies. Some additional people guard orders, here. Noble one. Go a long way. Hmm. Could be a bit of a bitch to fight it. How old are you now? We better hurry before you die of old age. You could die spot on at 60. Your orders, noble one. You know, when I gave them that peace offer, I didn't actually want them to accept it because they're so close to being defeated. I just want to be done with them. And if I if, they, if I accepted the peace treaty with them, they would have just attacked me at a time of their convenience later down the track. So when we're done here, we'll take Antwerp. Well, you know, if they don't accept the peace treaty, they might actually accept it soon. Antwerp and um, Bruges. They'll come down here, pick up reinforcements, and you don't want to trespass on their territory, but we'll make our way into Spain, force them to capitulate as well. We're not in any position to attack Venice right now. I need yes. to rebuild my navy, it's so badly damaged. Let's do some construction. What do we need? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Looking at Cordoba. Alright, oh, I already sorted this out. The Sultan will be most pleased at your demise, infidel. We're certainly going to need a lot of troops. Oh, we're already recruiting. I reckon going up to. to I'm just in two minds. Like, if I could finish off the Moors, that'd be really great. But I feel like if I go down south, Spain will come down and attack. And I, I feel like if I go up north, I don't feel like the Moors are going to attack me. They just don't seem to be as aggressive. Things must improve between us, Inshallah. Inshallah, you'll be feeling my dick on the back of your neck. Weird thing to say, though. So another thing to consider that this is not a pure-hearted campaign. It's not our job to be nice to everyone, and that historically the Catholic Church was a very brutal entity. Sure, today they seem like a benign tumour, but there was a time where they were a force to be reckoned with. And it just so happens we're, we're playing in that time now. Alright, so let's move on. Before I give them the option for peace, I'll, uh, I'll attack Metz. Because they might just accept it next time. My lord, the enemy lays siege. What shall we do? Ah! 
Sure. Okay. Your orders, number one. I was gonna send reinforcements. Your orders, number one. Oh no, it'll be fine. God will be with us, men. To battle. Good job. Occupy the settlement. Honor of our victory, my noble lord. Noble lord. So you're down to your last settlement, and we're gonna march on you soon. State your business, wretched fiend. Says their priorities are peace. It's considered demanding. I'll even throw in trade rights. How about that? Nine. Only a dumb cop would accept this. You may not be able to afford the losses of this war, but we can, and we are pleased to know you were close to. <laughs> this was hardly worth the time. I think you've got things around the wrong way, motherfucker. You'll be sucking my paper dick very soon. Yes, ma'am. Right. You got yourself excommunicated again. Expect at war? How are we at war? I'll offer to them for free because I don't want to be at war with them. I must inform you, we cannot agree to this. You're not looking for a peaceful end to the world. We committed to your doom. Very well. Very nice. Oh, they blockaded a port. Well then. Your orders, number one. You're going to need to double back over here. Yes. Somebody's going to need we some shall punishing. Continue at first light. There's no hope of us actually trying to control the entire map with other Catholic factions. They will just continuously try to attack me. It does, they don't care that I'm the Pope. They don't care they're going to get excommunicated. They just want to attack. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Make camp, men. We march. Don't Bringing need our troops this together. Angle. Your Majesty. Orders. Majesty. Mining forces, my lord. So what are we gonna do with you now? Now that Metz is taken. The Holy Roman Empire will be over soon. So do I send you down south here to attack Spain? Or do I send you to the east to attack? The Hungarians. Oh, geez, I didn't leave much of the garrison here. Infidel. Orders. Your orders? Could probably lift the blockade. Actually, I'm sure yes, it's Prepare to board and engage! Our fleet is victorious! Yes, my lord. Okay, where will you become the governor, governor of? Maybe Bern? Maybe Vienna? Camping here, my lord. Your orders, number one. Sort of creating a new Roman Empire like this. Well, of course, we've got territory that they never truly held on to. Um, okay, so. Your orders, number one. Yes! Yeah, but we can put on the races. Your orders, number one. Just stand here, yes. we need to get reinforcements from over here as well. So everything we've got. Leave behind just some Your spear militia. Our paper, no. Take them. Yes. Leave behind armored sergeants. Orders. Mark. Your orders, noble one. God will. Your Majesty. Oh, you are not allowed to escape. That's Move for sure. out. Your orders, noble one. Of course, my lord. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Execute no. them because no. they're no. filthy. Onward. Yes. Orders. Okay, yes. so the Knights Hospitaller probably aren't going to be too keen to fight the uh, the Spanish, so Your they're not majesty. coming with us. But the dismounted yes. Knights won't give a shit. Orders. Your Majesty. 
your majesty. Orders. Bring in our your majesty. I'll send them back to Granada. Move on. These guys will move on one. to Toledo, which is not well defended. Your orders, noble one. God will be with us, men. Who battle? Okay, still got ten thousand to spend. Can I work here? Noble one. What else? Be a good idea to um, get the land clearance just to get the population growing there because it's not a built up settlement in, at all. Your orders, number one. Right, we still didn't decide what we're going to do with this guy. What's more of a threat? Spain, yeah, Spain kind of is more of a threat, so we'll send Your you orders, down there. Number one. Yes, we're not quite done with the Holy Roman Empire yet, so with God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Harass them a until most honorable victory, my noble lord. We will engage them honorably. Until the faction is actually wiped out, all their peace treaties. Okay, got a little bit of cash less left. What are we going to build? And let's move on. Oh. Definitely prefer it when the Inquisitors are on my side, taking out all those really pain in the ass, annoying um, um, heretics. We've got a little bit of a chance against Jesus or Jesus. I don't know. Good job. Of course, with a defensive advantage here, uh, we'll show them the way. I'll, I'll oh, offer them peace. The day is ours, Lord. Should have bloody executed them, but oh well. Oh, our forces have taken a beating, though. I might be able to sally out there and order resolve it, because I need to be able to recruit here, or else it's just it's going to grind this us is down. Not good, Lord. The enemy have laid siege upon us. So Scotland has already besieged Antwerp. Well then I guess we'll go and besiege um, Bruges in the meantime. Because I won't be able to do this since we're not military allies. I mean, I'd prefer to take Antwerp, but let's face it, it won't be long before the Scottish declare war on me. I'm still surprised the damn Pope is alive. I, I really don't think we're going to get another episode out of him, though. I mean, if you have a look at this. Your orders, it's 59 years old, and we've still got half at, uh, 35 minutes until at 90 minutes, plus we can't afford to go over time. So, Scottish Army is neutral, and we can't attack that right now. So, Cardinal dies. Yeah, okay, diplomatic information. Fine. Yep. Your orders, noble one. I say we're just God will be with us, men. Siege this year before we England comes and takes it. Without question, we shall begin the siege. Besieging forces reporting. Looks like other factions have given it a shot. Unsuccessfully. Okay. And I'll offer the English an alliance. No, I can't because they're. Why can't? Oh, because reconciliation and an alliance. And I'll pay them, because if they could help me take Bruges, I'll take fewer casualties. I'll offer them 10,000. How does that sound? Balanced. How about map information as well? Screw it, I'll offer you 20,000. I mean, 
the, the settlement itself is not going to be difficult to take, but I don't know. This seems quite reasonable. Well, that seemed fruitful. Plus, they're probably going to move out of the way. Your orders, number one. With God's the, blessing the and yours, right we march to battle. And now we have an ally. We Besieging could probably actually lead Lord. them to attack us sooner orders. rather than later. Onward. Your orders, number one. So they're recruiting quite quickly. We don't know what's up here at uh, Valencia. Your Majesty. I don't care. It doesn't seem good. Your orders, number one. God will be with us, men. March. Combining forces, my lord. Once again, An give them the foe. offer what for reconciliation. Considered generous. Unfortunately, we cannot accept well, this. I don't know. Goodbye. We look forward to our next meeting. Your orders, number one. Your um, orders, number one. We can make a rush for Budapest. The thing is, the more territories we take from them, the less likely they are to probably accept a peace treaty. Yes. Make camp, men. We rest here. Your orders, number one. Your orders, number one. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Oh! But you're wishing lord, you had accepted peace a long time ago. Us. Well, I guess then again, like three emperors ago. Right, yeah, I'm going to send you down to Spain because they're just of course, being my relentless. Lord. We shall continue at first. Yes, lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. This time I'll actually yes, ransom you because... Well, they accepted it, but... That means money for is me. Ours, lord. The enemy I'm kind of disappointed. Them. I want them to die. So you only get three slot slots here. Even though it would be good to retrain them to gain more experience or to re retain their experience. Hmm. Got to think about it. See, this one here would be good to do. It's already in low number. Maybe if we can we recruit, yeah, we can recruit, recruit the warships from there. Yes, my lord. Attacking on your command. Lost another kind Victory! of Victory! Your orders. Your orders, number one. Your orders, number one. Okay, I've only got a few funds left. Probably nothing I can construct or recruit. Everything seems to be going well. We've got 36 settlements. Byzantines are being stupid over here, not taking us seriously. Holy Roman Empire. It's just about on its way out. I don't know if they're going to win that, but I guess we'll see. And have we got ourselves an ally? Moving on. Uh, the Pope doesn't have much time left. Alright, so they've been repelled. We'll take Bruges and then we'll besiege Antwerp. I'm getting ready for their last stance. I'm just hoping that England doesn't move out of the way. Because I'd really like their help. Oh, give me a break. My lord, the enemy lays siege. What shall we do? The Filthy Turks. The enemy are beaten! Legend, I am a Turk, and I thought you loved me. Role play, role play, role play. Don't get, don't get ants, uh, whatever. Don't, have, don't get offended by shit that I say. Fuck, when I play as the Turks, I like butcher the bloody Catholics. And I play as the Catholics, and then the Turks are like, you eh, used to being racist towards me. To the walls, we are besieged. Oh, I moved out the fucking way. This would have been nice to have an ally for a change. So Venice took a bit of damage, but nothing that we can't fix. So the Holy Roman Empire got a truce with Scotland. So, whatever. 
Your right, orders, we're number one. To it. We will engage them honorably, my lord. So they might we recruit another three units, but it's still should we should have enough to repel them. Um, I don't know about this. But you cannot defeat me. Where's for you? Your orders, number one. Yes. Yeah, they're, just, course, they're asking for an ass whooping. We shall continue at first light. Your orders, number one. As you wish. Forming two armies. Shit. Establishing a tireless watch here, Lord. Yes. Make camp, men. We yes, rest here. Enough movement to yes. get back in there, but that's okay. All right, Your so Bruges, not well defended. Would be Lord nice to get be with us, men. Them, but to battle. Let's fight this. Be ready to give all for God and kingdom, men. Then, like I said, we double back around to go and besiege Antwerp. That way, the Scots only really delayed us about one turn by making a silly besiege with woefully insufficient troops. going to go all that attack. I think we've got more than enough to do this. Because all we really need to do is, is open the gate. Oh, but then again, they'll have pikemen and stuff, won't they? Mm, maybe I should be a little bit more careful with this. Nah, we'll be fine. If it, was a if it was a normal campaign, I'd be much more cautious, but fuck it, we're, we're fine. So what I was thinking was, you know, opening the gate and then just pouring my cavalry through, but then I realized these guys all have loads of experience and they're pikemen and stuff. So they're they're not gonna break. Flemish pikemen are pretty damn strong. At least for the early game. We've got some mid to late game troops here and some early stuff. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. So the Swiss guys seem to be doing a pretty good job against the pike here. I mean, they're not in pike formation up on the wall. It's actually pretty silly of them to put them up here. Oh, both my rams got destroyed. Well, good thing we got ladders. I actually killed them a little bit easier than I thought we would. Okay, get down over here. I'm sure they'll be able to handle that. But that'll capture the gate. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. them to capture the tail, they did that. Keep killing these. Armored sergeants. Not really ideal for cavalry to be fighting. If 
coming up on the walls? Because if they are, it just means more. It's, it's the towers that I'm more concerned about than anything else. Um, maybe charge at them. Nope, they don't want any of that. Okay, if that's the case, then we'll head towards the town square. So what's coming in over here? We've got cavalry and spear militia. If we go and capture the town square, that'll force these guys to try and uh, get back there. My lord! Curses! Our men no longer command the city! Don't let them get back. What's their experience? Five. Mm. I mean, they're, they're probably much won't break anyway. But you have to pull through, because if we kill the enemy general here, then who knows, they might break. My lord! Our men have taken control of the city! The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The enemy general's almost dead. This is the last one standing. Praise there. to our lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Now, if we just swarm them, they should break. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we are. That went well, we didn't take many casualties well, compared to the enemy. <sighs> but it did weaken us for the siege of Antwerp. A most honorable victory, my noble lord! God Almost be praised 100% for Catholic. blessing us Can't with victory! Sack again. Someone. All right, so how about so this peace had treaty? Best be good. You're running out of uh, chances. The Kaiser will hear of your insulting proposal. This meeting was no. disappointing. It's not there to be insulting. It's just there as a sort of like a. Your orders, noble one. It's like Your after orders. you've killed someone, you're just like you say, well, you know, I tried not to, although really you did want to do it. That's what it's like. I definitely want to Your kill orders, him, but one. I want to make it seem like I didn't. Yes, my lord. Oh man, I'm putting you orders. in a fort. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Yes, onward. Your orders, noble one. Yes. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Don't orders. think you can build a fort there because of As the fort, but you can build it here. Forming two armies. Yes, my lord. Your majesty. Your orders, noble one. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Yes! Your orders, orders, noble one. All right, can we bring some reinforcements? Your majesty. How many does it need? Your orders, six. noble one. Five, sorry. One, two, yes. three, four. Probably don't orders. need that many missile units. Five. Your majesty. March! As long march as you survive one further. more turn. Your orders, noble one. This will be the end of the Holy Roman Empire. Alright, what else do we do? Your orders, noble one. Is it even worth much? This one? Nope. Fair amount of corruption. Not too much heresy, but we should probably focus on getting rid of that. Your orders, noble one. Command me. Besiege this. Where's the rest of the arm? Oh, it's over here. Your orders, noble one. God will be with us, men. To battle! I'm gonna give you one chance. Yes, we shall hear you out, but do not Except that we will much. attack. This is this is gonna get bloody for you very soon. Never. Your proposal implies we are fools. Yeah, you Our are fools. Seem pointless. Your orders, and you're gonna die one. for it. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. 
Hmm. Release them to let yes, them know that we are not here to kill them. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. Yes. Let me strike, my lord. Your orders. What do you mean? You can see me. Onward. Combining forces, my lord. Once you've raised a large enough army, we'll send you in as a support as well. Yes. Is it Big not fleet. obvious I am your foe, Infidel? Prepare to board and engage! Our fleet is victorious! Yes, my lord. Alright, anything else to do? I think we're good for the time being. Let's just do some construction, then move on. Yeah, why not? Good. Moving on. We might actually be able to assault. Oh shit! Um, probably not going to win that. My lord, the enemy lays siege. What shall we do? Oh ah, well, we we gain some territory in Iberia, in Spain, and then they're going to take Algiers back. Who cares? Anyway, with the Holy Roman Empire gone, that's a frontier that we can start moving the Pope. Well, he's, he's going to die of old age soon. It's bound to happen. We can start moving him down to, or just his army, I suppose, elsewhere. Plus, of course, we get the resources from that city to train new troops. So at Smyrna, I should probably recruit some more defenders. So we've got three turns until this starves out. My biggest concern is that they're going to have some some reasonably good commanders here. Your orders, one. Let's have a look. God will be with us, man. Odds are pretty good. I feel pretty stupid if we lost this though. All right, good. God has granted his faithful this victory. They brought Our the war to us. We brought These the war back to yours, them. So my Lord. That's what they get. They're not Catholic. Orders. They get sacked. There's no Catholics here at all. They have no responsibility for what happened there. It's entirely their own fault. Yes. Your Majesty. Orders. Orders. Okay. Earthquake in Tripoli. Nothing major happened there. So Portugal has been excommunicated for fighting against um, England, but England is my city, I mean my ally, so interesting to bring to the table. I don't know if I'll offer them reconciliation. I don't think that would sit well with my allies. So, although I will not raise arms against Portugal, I am not going to bring them back into the fold. Unless they get a peace treaty with England, then I'll offer it to them. Now. Your orders, number one. An order. This is your last chance. 
Emperor. Stay to your business, wretched fiend. If you don't accept this, we will attack, and you will die. Nine, only a dumb cop. Well, this not was actually, you'll die, spent. but Prince Wealth. Well, I think he's too far one. away. Uh, well, that's just the garrison here is going to die. We will the people are going to live, and you're going to be Lord. thronless. Some God will help the faithful prevail. Seven hundred years before the um, the Holy Roman Empire historically was disbanded by Napoleon. The love of God is a thousand times stronger than any mortal armor. His wrath against our foes is a thousand times better than a thousand arrows. Our faith gives us his aid, and more, it will give us victory. Now, cry for the Virgin, and look for that victory. That Imperial army yonder is full of Thunderheads, knaves, and fools. The good thing about men with wooden heads is that they split easily beneath the axe. <laughs> there will be hard fighting, as our horsemen must wait until the breach has been taken. But what glory for those foot soldiers who make the attack! And now I trust my life to God. For I know our cause is true and just. So pray, you beetle-headed knaves, and make sure God knows you think the same. <laughs> the speeches in Medieval 2 are way better than they are in any other Total War. Apart from Rome 1, of course. Rome 1, Medieval 2, more or less the same game. Alright, so let's just get things a little bit organized. The cavalry won't be able to do much until, well, like you said, until the uh, summit has been breached. We will make an all out attack. But I will send a little sneaky attack on the side over here. Now, if they put troops over there, well, then that's all. That's softened um, the defenders here. Troops there. All right. Come on. Go find another way around. I find that these towers are not really as effective as the wooden towers. They're like burning stuff down. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Now, they don't have a general inside these these walls, the so if we can manage in to get in favor. here, the cavalry. If we remain true them. and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Yeah, they're sending up. They left a lot of troops over here, thinking we're making an attack, leaving this not well defended. What are you doing? Oh, I see what you've done there. Shit. Do that. Um, you know what? Fuck them. Let's go. If they're going to leave the gate open so we can't ram it down, well then I'll just send the cavalry in anywhere. There's no boiling oil in vanilla. I need the kingdom's expansion. You know, when the game first came out, I used to think, what the fuck? I mean, there was, there was boiling oil in uh, Rome 1. Surely it's the same mechanic. Why, why wasn't it in Medieval 2? Years after, but then of course the kingdom's expansion fixed that. Not in the vanilla campaign. I used to play retro a lot. Ten boiling oil, I think. Four in there. It's all just about causing shock. Take a little bit of casualties, but they're not really good at fighting spearmen. Let's over here, armored sergeants. 
ruthless. Also, man, it'd just be good to be done with the Holy Roman Empire. And they're holding their ground fairly well. So if we could just get some guys behind them, they'll take massive morale penalties. They're just not breaking. Watch as well. Town militia. Okay, now they're breaking. There we go. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Doing that to armored sergeants, that's not gonna work. We'll just finish these guys off and then we'll send them back around over here to get those guys. Guys, continue your attack. Imagine the Swiss Guard should do reasonably well against the armored sergeants here. Shit, I'm not going to be able to get to them in time. The battle is in our favor. If we remain right. true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Get over here so we can let in the other uh, crossbowmen. Okay, I don't think they've got any missile units, so just stand here. Take a bit of a break. I'll bring in my crossbowmen and shoot them. The battle is in our favor. Uh, if we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Wait, wait, wait. I told you to go around over. Oh, I see what they did there. They went. They didn't go around. They went straight forward. That's okay. Get back. Get back. Hope will come in, not to fight, but to, I don't know, say a prayer for them or something. So we'll send these guys into combat as soon as these guys here are in position. One, when they're fighting, locking them down in place, we'll shoot them in the rear. And these knights here will escort them. Feudal knights, even though they're a tier above, mailed knights, doesn't look like they're gonna win there. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but, but not enough our men to take are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. I hope not. I don't know how well they're going to be able to shoot that. They're doing alright. I don't think they can... Are they going to shoot? Or are they going to twirl? Fighting and dying over there, I need your help. Maybe try and get over here. The battle is only half the enemy force remains. 
We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot right, to good. hell. Took a bit of damage on that, but that's okay. Quite happy to throw away the entire army for means victory here. So they got here a bit late, but our men now. have taken control of the city. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. They lost way more troops than I did. And so wins the Holy Roman Empire. Oh! You know, I gave them chance after chance, right up until the end. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. God be praised for blessing us with victory. Yeah, we'll occupy. Ah! Right, where is a Inquisitor? Triumph for heresy. A low chance of success. If you are the enemy's finest, you're Maximilian de Stoltz. Maybe we just go over there and finish him off. You're but a mere schweine farmer. Yes. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. God has granted his faithful this victory. Your orders, number one. Onward. Yes. Oh, I was supposed to send these guys in to help as well. As my lord wills, we oh, march to battle. Your orders, number one. Your majesty. Yes. March. Your orders, number one. Orders. Move out. Stay on the control, Your yeah. orders, number one. Your might. Onward. Right, Your it. orders, number one. You'll have to die another day. So we're almost at an hour and a half, but he shouldn't be lasting that much longer. He needs to stay probably the rest of his life yes. here. Basically, just wait until he dies. Your orders, number one. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Blessed lord, we thank you for delivering us. With God's blessing, God has granted his faith. You know it's actually this significant. Victory. Your orders, noble one. There are troops in there. God well, will at the very least, the siege. I don't know if I can that, though. Without question, While it's under siege, they can't the recruit any new troops. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. Yes, we'll give them the opportunity for a peace treaty. Do you expect us to be happy to see you? Let's see if they'll accept. How could you nope. ask these of us? Diplomacy failed us. Do you expect me to come to you, infidel? Okay, they're sending some forces down here for revenge. Your orders? Yes, my lord. Back over to Naples. Plotting course now, my lord. Get yourself some more ships. Your orders, noble one. Where does he think he's going? No one. With so. God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Yes, yes. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. Yes. That's four new units. There you go. Move out. Verdin armies. Okay, we'll do some construction, then move on to the next turn. So we'll keep going until our Pope actually dies. It, it really shouldn't be that much longer. There's no point starting another five minute episode. Could be the next turn for all we know. Yeah, fair amount of money there. Good. Worry about that later. It's not going anywhere.
Moving on. So once again, Jesus, you're gonna fail. And I'm gonna put your troops up to a ransom because the day you how dare you attack it nonstop. The enemy are beaten. Oh, give us a break. Well, we should be able to sell the out and um, finish them off, but we gotta keep bolstering the, the, the forces there, or else they're eventually just gonna grind us this down. Is not good, Lord. The enemy have laid siege upon There's us. There's a uh, fort down there that they just abandoned. I'll send someone down that way to go and occupy it. Jokes on them. I think there's pl yeah, there's plague here. Eat my rat-infested shit. We'll find our way back Continuing to that sort of eventually. Tomorrow, my lord. Granada's gonna have to go over there and um and stop them. To the walls! We are besieged! Ah! Why do I get the feeling like the Danes are going to attack me soon? Come here to siege, but they shall live here dead. Your orders, number one. Headquarters. God will be with us, men. I look for your orders, number one. With God's blessing and your own. You will tired of this victory, uh, my noble lord. Of course, my lord. Yes. And is it peace you have come to ask for? You must think us meet this meeting was quite easy. Seems like the more victories you get on them, the less likely they are to uh, accept the peace treaty. Orders. Onward. So, Pope, still alive. He won't live much longer. I can promise you that. I feel like I forgot Your to put these guys last time. It is an honor to lead these armies. Your orders, noble one. We will engage them my honorably, my lord. God has granted his faithful this victory. Your orders, noble one. To build some watchtowers with need visibility out forming here. Two armies. Your orders, noble one. Yes, lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Oh, the day is ours, lord. The enemy okay, are so, beaten. Yeah. And then over here, the at least that helps ours, block the pass. The enemy are beaten. Noble lord. We have conquered! Your orders, number one. God will be with us, men! To battle! Okay, so this is a citadel, and even though our guy has a lot of command, there's a lot of hidden defensive bonus in that. So, Your orders, just keep it under one. siege. Your Majesty. Orders. Yes! Yes, Lord! Closing for battle! The day is ours, Lord! The enemy are beaten! Actually, you know who really would want to take a swing at them? The Knights Hospital. What happened here? Did he die of old age? Must have. Oh, fuck baskets. We are not going to be able to maintain public order here. Didn't I sack the settlement though? It's just being repaired. Well, Nicaea is not going to be able to hold. Is Venice at war with anyone else? No, just me. Your orders, noble one. Need to yes. eventually get these guys over to Budapest. We rest here. It's not really our primary focus right now, though. Um, 
Making pretty good coin. Your majesty. Your orders, noble orders. Just thinking maybe I need to raise a new army, send it down over here, crush them. How many territories do the Byzantines have left? I'm pretty sure it's just the one. Nope. That seems like three. We just don't know where they are. Uh, they're probably still on um, Cyprus. this ragtag force here to help out with this. But I still need to make more money, so I've got to keep investing in our territories, keep making more cash, increase the taxes here, whatever, need the money. Yeah, decent amount of coin, bring it in. I wonder if there's any point even bringing the Pope orders, with these troops one. down that way. I mean, he'll die along the, you know, right. just on the way down there. So I can't Your even orders, leave, I have one. to leave a lot of these troops orders. behind. March! Yes! My lord! I guess you're just gonna stay here. Your orders, number one. At the very least, it'll help convert it. There's only a little bit of heresy anyway. Yes, my lord. Does this look like one of your fleets you can loot? Okay, well, I'm out of cash. Let's move on. Not good. The enemy have laid siege upon us. You know what? Them besieging the settlement might actually buy us more time here. My lord, the enemy lays siege. Because the problem is what actually the uh, the conversion, and we've got a priest in there. So I don't know. Maybe maybe you'll get a little bit more converted while they're under siege. And if we lose the settlement, well, easy come, easy go. At least with England and Portugal fighting each other, which is a bit ahistoric since they're like historically good friends, um, England's not going to think about betraying me. Or uh, well they will, you know. They don't seem to be having an easy time against Portugal. I'd like to call a crusade, that'd be good. And this decrepit Pope continues to live. 61 years old now. So yeah, part of the problem is religious unrest. We got an, uh, a priest in there at least, so... I don't expect him to do a whole lot. But even if that if that comes under sea, um, what's it called, under... Um, stays under siege for one more turn, this... it'll take away the revolt, uh, the, the rebel, uh, what's it called, the rioting, so that if we do manage to lift the siege, we still have another turn to build whatever. Thirty-eight settlements. 
And for the first time in a while, this didn't come under siege. Your orders, orders. Your orders, number one. It is an honor to lead these armies. Your orders, number one. So your yes. task will be to come down here and besiege Zaragoza. Your orders, number one. Guess we can justify giving you one of these troops. Your Majesty, move out! Combining forces, my lord. So yeah, just let me get that public order. I'm just waiting for him to die now so the episode can end. Still need lots of money. Kenshi, my master despises you. Your orders, noble one. They keep sending more and more armies, although we should be able to repel that with the garrison that's there. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Yes, yes, we'd release you too, my lord. I know you wouldn't, but there you go. God had granted his faithful this victory. Of course, my lord. God will be with us, men. Mm, to battle. We shall continue at first light. How are we going here? Right, I want to send him out. Orders? He's not quite Orders. ready yet. After next turn, we'll send him out so that he can assist. Name thy enemy, Lord. Maybe you should do it. Stop it for that. the night. Okay, we've got a little bit of cash less left. Let's build up some stuff and then move on. Moving on. Did I forget anything, though? It's going to take a long time for them to starve out, but, like I said, they can't utilize this in the meantime. How many settlements do they have? I can actually gather it just by looking. So they got Leon. One, two, three, four. Okay, so, th yeah, three settlements that they can potentially recruit from. Moving on. Okay, they only needed to buy us time. And here we go. Fucking, I knew the Danes were going to declare war on us. Fine. This is not good. We'll take the fight to them. The enemy if the Pope lives another day, we can, we can lift that siege. But if he dies during this turn, well. New Pope that starts off at Rome. I'll probably send him up against the Moors, though. I'll be able to raise forces up in northern France pretty easily. It's been a while since France has been dead. So we've put them on the defensive now, which is good. Is he still alive? He's still alive, and we got a crusade. The Holy Bible may preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened, then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to... Surprised you're still alive. Um, the thing is, you can't ever really truly protect, uh, predict how long someone's going to live for, can you? Um, just thinking about the crusade, I would like to join it. 
I just don't have an army to dedicate to it. Maybe the next Pope, because I expect he's going to die within the next turn or so. Tell me that England is also at war with the Danes. They're not. Okay, because then I could have their assistance here. Battle will resolve Looks like it's mostly trash units. Your orders, number one. Yes! We will engage them honorably, my lord. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. So, public order here is not good. We're not going to be able to make orders, it back unless we turn one. back around now. Your orders, noble one. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. I'd like to go over there and conquer it. Oh, where's, where's my diplomat? I had one over here. He must have died of old age. I really don't want new enemies right now. We're trying to deal with the ones we've got. Your orders, noble one. Without question, we shall begin the siege. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. These guys here seem to be getting stronger. Orders. Yes, lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Well, he's not going to be able to move if he the moves anywhere. Is we'll ours, him. Lord. The enemy are beaten. Need more troops. Okay, maybe England's actually doing a lot better than I thought. So over here. Your orders, noble one. Battle will resolve. Your orders, noble one. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Mm. Bless I don't know if you'll succeed. Certainly not by assault, us. but um, your orders, noble one. God will be with us, men. To battle, it. I must start now. Stop victory, from recruiting my new noble troops. lord. With God's blessing and yours, yes. Orders. So you're now the governor here, and he's going to go out here and assist. Yes, lord. We can march no further today. And so will you, once we've got enough troops here. If we pile up enough troops here, they won't be able to stop us. Your orders, noble one. Uh, no, we can't afford to let this yes. riot. If they come back here again, we'll just attack them, but we got to keep this under control. Plus, I don't really want to fight another battle today. Um, I'm going to disband... Yes. No, I won't disband you. I'll put you in a fort. Your next orders, time. number one. Your orders? I really don't want this to be a two hour long episode. But like I said, you can't anticipate when someone's going to die. Thought he would have died by now. So yeah, just get a few more trips and then come and assist. But quite a few troops here, and they don't have much at Hamburg. We've got a general here, this guy. Command me. I'll send him and the cavalry. Orders. Yes. To command. Continuing tomorrow. An attack on the Danes up this way. All right, moving on. Wait. Your orders, noble one. bolstering the, the numbers here because eventually he's gonna run out of troops he's gonna need reinforcements especially because you know I can't fight the battles manually What a time and what an army together for our plague to show up.
Oh well, it happens. He's still alive, you decrepit piece of shit. No one joined the crusade either. Those were too busy killing each other to bother with it. Orders? Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. The day is ours. The okay, enemy now I'm getting fed up with these guys so they can yes. suffer we a ransom. Them apart, my lord. Victory! We shall send them to hell or They've already evil. accepted the ransom. <laughs> victory! Your orders, number one. What are the we chances of victory them here? Honorably, my lord. Too many knights. Don't do it. Yes? Orders. Okay, the look over here is okay, it's not great, but I mean I've got a good amount of income. I just need to you know throw Your troops at the situation. Yes, Lord. That'll solve things. Your orders, number one. Who do I face? Your orders, number one. Let me strike, my lord. Yes. Command me. Yes, marching. Stop in for the night. Your Majesty. Order. Move out. Virgin armies. Okay, we we'll get here. Yes. Or onward. Bringing our troops together. Your Majesty. Move out. Virgin armies. Oh, wait, look, look, look. Not finish. Okay, so got plague here. But if they besiege it, well, even if they we'll send in troops from here to assist. I will offer the infidels a fair fight. It's gonna make my Your military order, a bit overloaded, but oh well. God has granted his faithful this victory. God has delivered us okay, this that victory. Guy behind. Forty-four is not that bad of a cost, but I want to make sure that no one's coming up through here. Gotta get to Zaragoza, With God's blessing which is and yours, reasonably we well defended. Probably will need to starve them out as well. So we need three additional units. I'll send knights Orders. in to come and assist. Onward. Orders, my lord. A good day's march ends. Jeez, a lot of generals here. I really want to send the Pope down this way, because expanding down here makes sense because we've got it connected. But, you know, that's something for the next episode. <laughs> if this guy would just fucking die. Can you leave Your here orders, now? Number one. Okay, looks like public order's a lot better now. Orders. Your Majesty. March! Bringing our troops together! Actually, still keep them there. I'll need to defend against this. Our army is apparently better than theirs, and if we can make a rush for here, like he, he'll be able to take Hamburg. Okay, still got 10,000 gold. What are we going to spend it on? Just recruit whatever. Yes. Attacking on your command. Okay, so I need my fleet here Victory! in Italy, because from it to Full the... sail. Yeah, from Italy is where we'll send the Pope to go on crusade. I might actually recruit troops at Palermo. So I'll send send them yes, around over here so they can dropping anchor when the next Pope comes. Well, we've still got what ten turns until the the Pope's know, not seven or eight turns or whatever until until we can until we can't call I can't join the crusade. All right, come on. I kind of just want this to end. Just die already. Moving on. Actually, my lord, the that keeps our settlement under quarantine. It might be better even if they do capture it. Just let them. Plague is such a spanner in the works. Because if we go out there and, and lift the siege, it resets the plague. I 
I really didn't want this to go on two hours. We've got the defensive advantage. You've got a higher skill level than this, but you know they do have some knights. If you fail, it's not the end of the world. We've got reinforcements here. Good job. Yes, Show them that's it. Catholic go. mercy. Release them. <laughs> After all, they just lost I a lot in the honorable troops in victory, there. my noble lord. Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yours, so like, my lord. I'm, I'm going to occupy it. That's a good victory right there. It's a wealthy settlement. Oh. Tell me that's the end of the part. There we go. Finally, we can end the episode. Right before two hours. Alright, so that ends the, the reign of Saracenus to corrupt. And now we have... Hmm, who's it going to be? I think... Philippus the missionary. Yep, there we go. Pope Datus. And he's found my faith wanting. Still, he had a fairly productive reign, expanded our territory significantly. But that is the end of this episode, finally. Now, how old is this Pope? 56, so we'll probably get... Well, the other guy was 56 years old as well. We may get one episode, we may get two. Uh, probably one. We'll see. But he's going on crusade. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys, so like and subscribe. Part 6 is next, and don't forget... Well, I guess 6.0. It doesn't matter. Um, is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.